Autosplay is an L-Acoustics autosolver tool for calculating the best inter-element angles to use in a source. This mechanically optimizes an array to achieve a given SPL target. Autosplay is available on all vertical variable curvature line source systems, such as K-series. Autosplay is not available on sources with only one pickup point, as changes in inter-element angle change the center of gravity. For single pickup point applications, it is recommended to design using two pickup points and to change the number of pickup points after mechanical optimization. To use the tool, there is some user input required to set an objective. Step one is to confirm the source definition can achieve the desired coverage. To set a user-defined coverage area, select a source and open the source cup view window. Confirm the source is positioned correctly and the sight angle is set so that the source covers the top of the audience area. You may need to overshoot to achieve coverage off axis to the source. Enter a suitable number of enclosures to cover the audience. In the source cut view window, drag the D min and D max flags around to represent the minimum and maximum depth of the audience. These flags will stick to surfaces with an audience listening height defined. Once this is set, press init in the autosplay frame in the loudspeaker data toolbox. This will calculate a quick first pass of inter-element angles to allow the user to confirm if 100% coverage can be achieved with the current source definition. To check coverage performance, there is an indicator in the source cut view window. If this value is below 100%, change the number of enclosures or position of the source and rerun the init function until 100% coverage is achieved. There is a third position to set in the form of DREF, or reference depth. This position should be set to either the front of house position or a suitable reference position within the audience, not too close to the system and not in the far field. The second objective for autosplay is the SPL to target over a given audience depth. To set this, select the source and open the SPL target window. This window shows the 1 to 10 kHz response of the system over depth. From here, the user can set the SPL to target when autosplay is calculated. The user can design the recommended practice of tonal homogeneity, but if required, the user can compromise to achieve the required SPL in the far field. You can choose to display a secondary reference curve in this view by interacting with the frequency drop-down boxes. It is recommended to use an 80 to 250 Hz response curve to visualize the natural attenuation of the low frequencies over depth. Use this as a reference to set the SPL target. A tonally homogeneous system will attenuate high frequencies and low frequencies at the same rate. Once the SPL target is set, press Optimize in the autosplay frame in the loudspeaker data toolbox. This will iterate through many different combinations of inter-element angles to try and achieve the SPL target defined. Once calculation has completed, look at the SPL target window to see if the achieved result is close to the target. If the result is very different from the objective, then an unachievable target may have been entered. For example, Dmax being positioned beyond the throw of the system, or a flat SPL response for a large coverage depth. As a guide, L Acoustics recommends no more than 2 dB difference between D min and D ref to avoid large level discrepancies and hearing damage to the audience in the near field. An additional recommendation of no more than 6 dB difference in SPL from D min to D max is recommended.